everybody. Synth God Triple X here, Rick Marston. As you can see, my baby girl. Hi, Jade. Yeah, she's checking out the new grandmother. Just picked it up today, as a matter of fact, from Crazy Dave's Music. Look, 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 look. Got the cool new shirt and everything. There's baby Jade right there. Wait, there she is right there. Ew. Kitten litter. Oh, where are you going, baby girl? You don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> She'll come back, I hope. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I had a little visit to Crazy Dave's Music in Orange Park. And I got myself a little friend. And it's going to be having a little unboxing tonight. The Grandmother from Moog Music. Yeah. Those guys are the awesomest. They are the bomb. They are an uh, employee-owned and run company uh, located in Asheville, North Carolina. Yes, and Lisa, my wife, and I have gone to the factory and we have seen their awesomeness in action firsthand, in which I'm sure you guys can always set up yourself and uh, have a little tour because those guys are super nice there. Guys and gals are super nice there. All right, uh, I'm going to tell you the box itself was kind of heavy and uh, that's a good sign in my opinion which means uh, not skimping on materials for packaging and getting that stuff to you so if you're worried about that as a matter of fact oh I love their boxes they're so super cool look at history information how to do stuff connections I mean this is super bitchin let's see what we got here oh look at this ah this is probably one of the coolest things, in my personal opinion, when you open up a Moog box and you're able to get, um, let's see what we got here. We got the manual, you've got your power cable, you've got your awesome Moog sticker. That's like one of the coolest things in the world to have. And uh, the manual is safely, they've got the little sticky stuff to make sure that it doesn't bounce around. Your registration, which is way important if you are one of those type of people that are not going to be moving your gear. I hope that's not going to happen to this. I really want to hold on to this forever. And that this also is glued to it. So this is their product catalog for 2018. Uh, I'm sure this is going to be a poster that's going to fold out, which we'll probably be able to frame up like the last one. I'm not going to open this right now. Let's see. We've got some uh, control voltage cables. Different lengths, it seems. So that's really cool. What do we got here? What do we got here? So it's also got some glue on it. Oh, what is this? Mm, oh. Gotta take a look at this. Ooh, mm, 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 mm. Very cool. And the main power. All right. Here we go, let me get the stuff out of the way so we can actually start seeing what the grandmother looks like. And all the sticky stuff's everywhere, so you gotta remember to buy it. All right, I gotta make sure my camera spot's perfect. All right, I'm gonna pan it back a little bit and tilt her up, because we're gonna want to see this thing rise out. Okay. Okay, so look at this flap, it's gonna be right in my crotch. Oh! I don't want that to happen. Ow. Oh, there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a uh, serial number 5293. This is a brand new uh, grandmother. Let's see if not the incorrect way. Oh, and it's built like a tank. It's heavy. Oh, yeah. Compared to something like, say, the MG1 or something like that, this is like huge compared to it. And just just the weight, the build, the everything. This is amazing. This is my hand. I'm gonna get in front of the camera. This is bad. Oh, very nice. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Oh, okay. let's get it out of that plastic, boys and girls. I'm gonna cut in front of the camera again. Please excuse me. Mm. Oh yeah, here it comes. Ends a clutch. Oh. Yeah, ever since they had announced this design, I wanted to purchase one, but I hadn't had the opportunity to really get the funds for it. Now I was able to get the funds for it. And uh, thank you, Dave, at Crazy Dave's Music, for allowing me to uh, work with you on special deals. 
because you guys are the best in orange parts for that. Again, look at that. This is a beautiful looking synthesizer. Some people have, that are just, I don't know, a little too tight in my opinion, saying that the, uh, they don't like the actual uh, color and design of the Moog Grandmother. I absolutely love it. I think it's cool. I think it's modern. It's futuristic. It's hip, you know, and, you know, at first I was like wondering about that on the back of the keyboard, but, you know, as long as it says that, and, you know, is a modern Moog. I don't care what the logos or the descriptions or whatever they want to put on the keyboard. It's fine with me. I don't care. All right. Let's take a look at this thing. I'm going to take it off the stand. Here we go. Take a look at this beautiful keyboard. Brand new. Literally out of the box. As you guys can see. It's beautiful. Like I said, it's uh, pretty much heavy and built like a tank. And the keys don't feel like a lot of the crappy keyboards that are coming uh, out nowadays, which is like very, very poorly designed and very shallow. These keys feel solid and they're strong and beautiful. All right, let's get this thing downstairs and uh, get it all hooked up and pretty and stuff. I'm going to hook it up to... Uh, a 61 key controller so we can jump octaves a little bit faster and easier because a lot of the demos that I'm seeing online are just you know playing the keyboard and hooking up the the control voltage points and stuff like that and that's really cool but they have to jump octaves real quick and no 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 not me we're gonna play this on a bigger key love you see you in a minute Okay, now we've got it all, uh, well, I can't really set it up now. Not the way that I like it. Um, if you are an owner of the Ultimate Support Stand series, the grandmother really doesn't hold well on the normal uh, stand. And because they happen to put the uh, uh, MIDI port right in center, it's not really made for keyboardists who use the ultimate support which is a big kick in my nuts because I have two of those and I use those on stage live and I was planning on wanting to have this uh, controlled from another synth below it these bars you can buy a little bit longer extension but there's usually for uh, 88 key uh, keyboards so it'll look a little awkward with these things sticking out the side so Moog I just want to let you know a couple more millimeters more this way could have been more helpful for the ultimate support stand users. Please do take note of that. Uh, people who are interested in purchasing the Moog Grandmother, that the ultimate support may not be the stand for you. So what I've got over here, as you can see with the Deep Mind, I got the uh, X the X stand going. So we'll just uh, we'll do that for a live thing and for my uh, live videos. Just put it on this stand, and uh, we'll see go from there. All right. Thank you. Let's turn the sucker on. <laughs> 